What's going on guys? Welcome back to the next episode of the Puck Drop. At the end of the last episode, we lost a game, and I feel like it was like a tight game. We just couldn't really connect on things. We lost the game 4-2, to and it put us in jeopardy of not advancing to Division 4 if we can't win the next game and at least tie. We have to like tie a game at least and win a game at least. We have to get three points out of the remaining two games, but we do have a positive to the situation right now. We have 900 points saved up in our point bank. We're ready to rock and roll down this board. And there's decent packs. There's mega packs in the store right now. And we got two packs right here. We're hoping to just connect on them and maybe get a thousand points out of them. So rock into the store to get a decent pack and decent players. And that is not kind of started for us. That's zero. We're going with this next one. This next pack right here, this next puck, that could translate into a great pack the last puck that we're gonna be dropping here. Let's see if we can't connect something good. It's 200 points. I mean, it's not the best, but I mean, 200 points plus the 900 that we have, it's gonna give us 1100 points. And that means we can at least open up a mega pack and maybe hope for an early rage quit so we can play another game or something. We're gonna take those 1100 points to the store, maybe open a mega pack. Let me know in chat what you guys think we need to do. So without further ado, we'll be right back. Everyone's feeling the mega pack right now and I'm completely on top of that, boys. We're gonna look at some of the new pack. The Sawyer, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for being a huge fan. Hope for something good, boys. I mean, the third emote that we are gonna get has to be a pack look. And if you go into the uh, Discord, you know, there's a, there's a channel for just Twitch emote suggestions. No idea is stupid. There could be some, like, some silly premises. I mean, maybe there could be stupid suggestions. <laughs> I mean, it's co complete, like you could ask for like a Boston emoji or something. That would be the complete like stupidest thing you could ask for. But all right, we're looking at some of the new players right now. I digress. 99 Matthew Barzel, 98 Victor Hedman primetime. Huge players in this one. A lot of players we've never heard of before and the icons showing us the pack. We still got that 97 Tyson Berry, 96 Marion Gabrick. That'd be nasty. Ekblad is a phenomenal card as well. Of course, we got like the 90, you know, eight McDavid and whatnot. And then the new, is this like the third round? I don't think this is the third round, just like more random Stanley Cup players. All right, heading into the store, 1100 points minus the 750 it's gonna take for the mega pack. This is the only pack we're gonna be opening before we get into the next game. We might have a couple rerolls though to be continued on that one, not sure about that. 750, here we go. Fingers crossed, boys. Let's get some good stuff in these ones. David Schlenko. David Schlemko. All right, Kyle Palmieri. I thought he had like a nasty card out at some point. Let's go. Freddie Anderson. All right, apparently that's the better Anderson. Apparently that Freddie Ander Anderson can beast the 90 overall Anderson we have in net right now or who's playing as our backup. All right, let's go. Don't care about these silver players. A thousand coins, probably the best pull we've gotten so far in this entire pack. Got Anders Bjork back there. So we're halfway through the pack. We haven't seen much. Evgeny Dadanoff, UC Soros, come on. Where's the good one? Where's the good one that I'm waiting for? Rocco Grimaldi, come on. Hit me up with something decent. Only like, oh, Noah Hannafin. We got like five cards left. We only got five cards left. Austin Matthews number, Varlamov, come on. And one more card. And dude, I, this account has the worst pack luck I've ever seen. I don't even know what's going on. We also need like a, a trash pack left emote. That's another thing that we're gonna need. Holy crap though. Some good news. We did some digging and some investigating into some of the cards on the auction house and there is a player that we can buy off the auction house now that's gonna fit our team needs. Eric Carlson is gonna be no more, but do we have any rerolls? We might have a couple rerolls right now. One unopened pack. I'm not sure what this guy is. Premium two gold player pack. Everything that I have untradeable is going towards rerolls. Everything that's not untradeable, we're actually throwing up on the auction house to sell. Try and build our coin balance up a little bit so we can buy more players and stop losing so many cards to rerolls because it's a high price for these rerolls. All right, Mitchell Stevens is the first one. Who's gonna be our gold rare? Oh, it's a prime time, but I mean, we're not, we really don't need to use this guy. I mean, it's like the com most vanilla card I've ever seen. All right, so just gonna show you guys the team and what we're working with right now. We're gonna check out on defense and you're gonna see that Eric Carlson is still back there, a base card. He's decent speed, 90 overall skating, but, but we're getting close to team synergies though. Takeaway Kings is activated. Wrecking Crew still has a bit of work. One-timer efficiency is there, but sustained pressure, we're six out of 10. And with this next card, we're gonna be able to pick him up and bring that up to eight out of 10. And it's a phenomenal card. And it is one of the cards that has been recently added to the auction house. 
He's gonna be a righty. And we're gonna set this overall to, I think he's like an 89 or something like that. We're just gonna show you guys what the other choices are that are out there. And synergy style, we're gonna go sustain pressure since that's what we agreed upon as being one of the better synergies. And this is the card right here, that 90. Oh, that 90 drew daddy. Oh, I forgot though. We have to put a cap on it. Gotta put a cap on it. If 60,000, that's what we're rocking right now. After that, those recent additions. All right, there's the Erica Brands we already have, but this Magnus Nygren, he's the card that we're gonna go for. So I think I already set a watch now on this guy. So 39,500 is what this guy is looking at. And I mean, you look at his card, he's got two to sustain pressure, which is what we're looking for. And the card is not bad overall. Dude, what's going on, Matte? 9812, what's going on, bud? He's 6'1, decent. But I mean, he's super fast. He's got good checking, great hands. So I mean, this card could totally be fun. It's a flashback card, and this card is absolutely fire. And since this was recently added, the price is not too bad because everybody's pulling them. But for 39,500, this is gonna be the card that we're taking onto the team. And this is the card that's going on to the puck drop team. And I'm excited for it because that's gonna be a huge pickup on our team. And also update to like what we're probably gonna be doing Saturdays. Um, Saturdays, I know people have said, hey, you should play Hunt Rivals with some of these teams, get some free players. I think Saturdays, we might stream for like two or three hours and take like the Broke Beauties or the Puck Drop team and just play Hut Rivals for two or three hours. Like play six games or something like that and then just level up a little bit, get some free packs out of it, hang out a little bit more, but also get the team better at the same time. I think that's gonna be awesome. I mean, our, our lefties are stacked now. All flashback cards, Gabranson, Petrie, Negrin, if that's how you pronounce this guy's name, I mean, it's fire back there. I'm really in love with these cards. On the power play, see, we're gonna have to take Eric Gabranson out of there. He's just a little bit slow. Maybe we'll try and put him up there on the first line though. I mean, the guy's a beast. We also did switch the lines up a little bit. I'm trying some different people in some different places, like moving some centers back. The first line, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna do it. Let's just maybe move Nathan McKinnon up. Cause I mean, Barzal hasn't done good at all the entire time we've picked him up. Like, I swear he hasn't made like one nasty shot, one nasty entry or anything. So I mean, I think we're just gonna have to like play this around a bit. Looking at online seasons, we got some work to do. It is crunch time, four and four. We've played some absolutely goalies that were in Fuego. We've played some guys with great teams. We've played the internet and lost because Freaking servers, man, freaking servers. But you see what we have to do. We have eight points right now, 11 points to advance to division four. We can't get the division five title at this point, but we've already clinched enough to stay in the division. So we're not gonna get relegated. That's decent. All right, so you guys have seen the additions to the team. We are updating you know, our rosters just bit by bit. We are two synergy points away from having sustained pressure. If you guys missed that card, we added this card right here, Magnus Negrin, really close. We're at eight out of 10 for the sustained pressure. That'll be our third activated team synergy, which is gonna be huge. You know what, Orloff, you know, you're coming back up here too. We want fast guys off the break. We wanna make some plays, that'll be sick. All right, so that's the offense we're going with right now. We're gonna have to save these changes and we're hopping into this game, boys. Wish us luck. All right, and we're gonna be so picky about the internet connection. Also, boys, whenever we lose with a certain jersey, that's the last time we're ever gonna see that jersey and we're picking a new one. We're starting the game, look at these things. They're like aqua, they're disgusting, and I'm in love with it. Looks pretty good to me, guys. Looks like a good connection. Finally, we might have a decent connection, unless the game tricks us into it at this point. But let's go, boys, here we go. Game on the line, season on the line at this point. He's got the nasty Kopitar. Uh-oh, just passed, he got Solani in net. Dude, or not in net, but he's got, what the crap? The internet connection was fine before this. Negrin, let's see it, dude. 97 speed, he's gonna pass it up to Mantha. Pumps the brakes, short side, oh my gosh, dude, Anderson. Somebody told me, the Freddie Anderson. What is that? Dude, are they giving me free points right now? Does that technically count as the rage quit? Am I seeing this right? Yeah, everybody is saying five pucks. I mean, I guess that's it. And that is the that is the advancement to division four, right? No, we have to have one more, we have one more point. One more point. I don't know what I'm thinking. One more point and we advance to division four. If not, all of these games were for nothing. All nine games we played trying to advance to division four were for nothing. That's a rage quit. CWEPZ fan, bud. Subbing with Twitch Prime, you beauty. We get the rage quit and we get this dude subbing over here. You guys, you guys are rocking it. All right, end of the game was like one nothing shots, but I mean, I guess he was just too scared of it at this point. I got let me check the team real quick. I just gotta see his team, just see. 
Five bucks, you have to. Oh my goodness, dude. 98 Bergeron, 95 McInnes, 97 Solani. The Iserman, he's got the 99 Zetterberg. What kind of... Oh my gosh. 299 Stanley Cup, 96 Duchesne. Holy crap, dude. This is like the nicest team I've ever seen. I, he's got like all the Stanley Cup cards. What is this monkey biz? 97 Druin, what a beauty. Holy crap, guys. Have you ever seen a thing so beautiful? I didn't even know this guy had a card this high. And he's got the Freddy, 95 Freddy Anderson. I don't think we ever would have scored on that. Good Lord. I don't know, dude. That's, that, that team's nasty. But I mean, it's a rage quit. So I mean, we're gonna go back to the puck drop board. We had 1100 minus 750. That's gonna leave us with 350 coins left. So I mean, all we need is another 400 points because of what's gonna come from there. So boys, we're gonna put you on hold. Just, <laughs> we'll be right back. So right now we have 350 points in the bank. Another mega pack is 750 points. We need 400 points, but I mean, that's, Recently, we've had so many people, we just get into a game and they rage quit out. We're not complaining. That's gonna be five packs for us right there. All right, but it's time to drop these five pucks. We're looking for 400 points. As I said before, mathematically impossible. We will not get it, but that's 100. So we might like trip and fall our way to that 750 points. But I mean, it's gonna happen eventually. So we're at plus 100 to it. That's gonna be, all right. I mean, you knew what that was gonna be. You have to use logic here. That was going towards the 200. So that's gonna give us 300 points from the reward board with the third puck. What's it gonna give us right now? That's gonna be 500 points right there. So that's 800 points we're adding to our point total. We're moving all of these things and we're going back with the puck that gave us the 500. So 500 was the last one we got. And this guy's gonna be tracking to another 100. So we're at 900 points. Last puck of the episode, I think, is going to grant us 300 points. So that's gonna be 1,200 points plus the 350 we had left over. 1,550 points we can take to the auction house right now. We could technically, we could technically get two mega packs, I think, at this point. So guys, in chat, while we're switching over, let me know what packs you want us to rip because we're gonna take care of this, get back to the store, and rip some more packs. All right, guys, we're right back to it. Everyone's saying two megas right now. How much is the choice pack, Bruins fan? I don't know, but I don't want to do it. I assume you're talking about the um, the icon, the choice pack, or whatever this is. No, not talking. That's not a choice pack. This is a thousand points, but everyone's saying the mega packs. I gotta see how many we can do. How many mega packs we do in a day? Because I actually think there's a limit to them. There might be like two a day. Two for 24 hours, that's unfortunate. So what we might do is we might go ahead and open one mega pack and just bank the rest. Opening one mega pack would still leave us with 800 points for the next episode. I think that's what we gotta do, boys. All right, so what we are gonna do, because there's a pack limit right now on how many mega packs you can open in a day, which is two, we're gonna open up one more and that's gonna leave us with 800 points we're taking into the next episode. And I don't know how, like, I don't know, there might be an amazing pack out. And depending on how many goals we score in this next game, might might tell us whether or not we get to open that amazing pack next time. But here we go, let's let's get some better luck in this one. Because the last one was absolutely terrible. And we need some better luck in this one. We're starting off with a goalie mask. That might never be a good sign. Let's check Andrew Ladd. I mean, we're supposed to get a ton of great players in here. All right, let's go. I haven't seen a single like 80 plus player at this point. They must all be waiting in the back. John Carlson, I'm, I'm wishing I could get like a nasty card of yours. Richard Ponick, Michael Furlan. Ooh, that's a money maker right there. That is gonna help out the team. We could sell that for eight, just a fire card. Like that's what, 50,000 coins right there? So I mean, overall from the pack right now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. That's banger right there. That's huge. All right, well, let's keep going. Alexander Volkov, that kid's gonna be nasty whenever we like bring him up to the team in Tampa. Brady Kachuk, Ryan Pollock, Henestroza, come on, let's get another bang. Let's let's make this pack just fire. Absolutely fire. I'm, I'm seeing nothing but jerseys, guys. Colton Pareko. Oh, come on. And the last card is freaking, I mean, it's my lucky number, so I guess it's cool. But here we go once again. You guys know the drill. We're looking at the online seasons and we are one point away from advancing to division four. It was a bit of a rough patch. Great goalies, great players, awful internet the whole way. We're gonna try and stumble our way into division four and make it count technically. 16 gold players and an icon collectible, that's worth it, dude, for sure. I mean, I think it was a decent deal. Was it really 16? 
Holy cow. All right, so these are the team. We switched up some players a little bit just because we're trying to get our players to finally match up and work with each other. Let's hope for some decent internet this time. The last internet we had was absolutely amazing in that first game. That lasted about 20 seconds. Check the connection. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, all right, we're good. Thankfully, we're good, Seth. I appreciate you. Oh, he's got sick jerseys. I love those jerseys. He's got some Barkoff. He's got a Carlson back there. Some Hole. All right, Negrin. All right, this is the guy we picked up. He's the 89 overall card, flashback card. Gave us two to, like, sustain pressure. It's gonna be a great synergy for us. Come on, work your way in there. Oh my gosh, he almost went top shelf on his goalie. That was a sick move. Negrin, let's go. Did McKinnon just ignore his coach's response to, like, say, get off the ice? You gotta listen, bud. One more, there it is. Giroux, don't tie it with your guy up. Come on, skate to the back door. That was in, dude. Come on. Let's go, Barzell. Let's finally see your speed. Look at the, look at it. He's blowing him away. No, he runs into the guy at the last second. We're working on it, we're working on it. What is this connection? Are you, it was fine before. I don't even know, I don't know what to do. Oh, he's let us walk in there, and oh my gosh, beautiful save by his Tendi. Let's look for some shots, look for some shots. There we go, point to Chara, awful shot. Sprunger, <laughs> what hands? And I say what hands, I mean awful hands. Far side, off the tip of the glove, that was close. Keep it in there, keep it in, keep it in, one more. He won T to the wrong person, it was close. Out in front. Oh my gosh, the goalie saved it. It was close, dude. Short side, man. We're just like, we're banging on his goalie. What a train, Nate Thompson. Are you kidding me? Back door? He backhands it instead of just knocking it in there. I mean, we're pressuring this guy. This is great. The guy has like zero shots on net right now. One more. One, oh, Barzol, did you just whiff on it? Barzol might be the most offensively stacked player we have on the team. He acts like he's never played hockey before. All right, we're just gonna freeze this one. Get some fresh legs out there. We are killing it with pressure. What division is this, Kais? Like, we are five and four in division five right now. We, we've had the worst streak of people, and like, it's been, it's been super unfortunate and super unlucky is all I can say. But I mean, we're still battling out. All we need is one point to advance to division four. And short side. Oh my gosh, dude, could you miss the net any harder, but we're going on the power play. We've got some fresh people on the power play. A little bit more offense, a little bit more speed. Eight to one in your shots right now. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but things are looking decent. Oh, where's our breakout, guys? Where's our breakout? Orloff, let's send it to you. Super fast. How did he just take the puck from me like that? That was, that was like a... Oh, come on. There it is. Dude, no way. No way is this goalie like stopping all this crap. He's a freak out there. His aggression must like be off the charts. Stick left. No, the goalie poke checked me. <laughs> what a freaking animal. I was like, that's a goal easy, right? Come on, just bang one of these. This goalie, man, I can't. It's whatever, why is it the, always the goalies? We always get these goalies and we're wider than that. Mantle, let's go, bud. Huge streaks. Oh, end of the first period. All right, end of the first period. We are killing this guy. Oscar Sutton, I gotta look up this, guy, this card after it because I don't understand this goalie, man. I mean, 11 to two of your shots, we have over five minutes of time on attack. We have more time on attack than the period itself. I gotta check out this goalie, man. Gotta check out the goalie. Vasilevsky and 86? What? What? I mean, he's got a decent team. Some base cards on there. I mean, if we can just break this, if we can figure out this goalie, it's game over. Here we go, here we go. Short side, one more. Bang it, oh my gosh, greasy rebound. But we, freaking, who is this guy? I don't know who scored for us, is it the new guy? It might be the new guy, there he is, Magnus Negrin. I mean, he's got the 91 hands though, so I mean, he's putting it in there. Absolute beauty of a play, he tries to go short side on, picks up the loose rebound and tucks it in there. On the backhand, let's go bud. All right, offsides, and I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but if this is gonna be our first like rewards into Division Four, if we can win this game or take it to overtime, we get unlimited reward puck. So if we smash this dude in the end, unlikely, like 18 to 18 to 17 or something, then we're going to be able to drop 18 pucks on the board. It's unheard of. But, I mean, it's a thing. Big pressure there. Nice job. 
Uh-oh, here it is, here it is, dude. Oh my gosh, Anthony Mantha with a bomb. Keegan Lowe gets through every, no, it wasn't Keegan Lowe, I think Keegan Lowe's on my main account team, but whoever it was just absolutely fed himself through. Luke Glendening, all right, I don't know where I got Keegan Lowe from, but I mean, huge play by the guys. Fends off the pressure and just buries it to the one-timer. Let's go, bud. Whenever we get another prey, whenever Char just like goes coast to coast with this one and takes it in. Oh, he's faking him out. One more. Oh my gosh, dude. The goalie's rattled right now. The goalie's rattled. We're keeping it in. Barzal, he's going to turn up. I can feel a goal from Barzal right now. No, I can't because he's all over us. Big hits. Come on. Big pressure, dude. We're getting all of his lanes. Set it to Drew. Tear it up, dude. And bangers! Oh gosh, that was almost a huge goal. And Charbon, that's in. That's gotta be in, guys. We're having my back on these. One more time, Charbon off the freaking inside of his stick and went behind him and didn't go in the net. We're so unlucky. These Char bombs, man, they're heat seekers towards the net. I don't need the internet dropping now, boys. All right, end of the second period. That was really our period. Even though we only scored two goals, that's what we needed to see right there. 22 to three are your shots in this do or die game. Tell us we haven't shown up. Like this might be the most biggest blowout game we've ever seen. If you had 86 Vasilevsky in net, we might be losing this game. We've given them one shot. No, was it zero shots? It was eight to two to finish the first period. Then we put on 14 to zero shots. And Far side, there, oh my gosh, guys, please help me out here. One more, oh, I, I don't know why I tried to feed it through like 18 guys standing in front of the net, but didn't work out, I'll tell you that much. Big bodies, that puck's mine. Oh my gosh, bars, I'll pick it up, dude. Block in front, that's what we needed. Give it to Petrie, give it to Petrie. And short side, oh, squeak in, squeak in. Oh my goodness, dude, how did he not hammer that home? Big step up. Way to stop him from entering in. Come on, internet. Let's be a little smoother for the third period, the last period of our Division 5 lives for NHL 20. Oh, okay. That was, that was a good tripping penalty by him because I was about to feed that over for the 3-0 banger. Come on. There it is. Oh, my gosh, dude. What's up with these goalies, like, stopping these things? I wish he was the other hand so we could just one-time it from five feet. Take the glove off of his hand. I had that happen to me one time when I was playing real hockey. A slap shot hit my glove and my glove flew off my hand. I didn't have it tightened and the glove went in the net, so it counted. <laughs> I made that guy on the other team a legend just because my glove wasn't freaking tightened. Negrin's there where he needs to be. I like having smart guys on the team finally. They don't just like leave people out in the open. There it is. There it all oh, off the pipe, come on. Go again, Negrin. Smart cookie there. Oh, off the back, off the back and in. Let's go. That was a, that was an awful rebound given up by him. <laughs> awful rebound. All right, dudes. And dude, Magnus Negrin. He's like the, the number one, he's the all-star of this episode. The pickup off the auction house and how he's potted two Genos. Welcome to the show. We did what we came to do in this episode. I don't know how many shots our opponent has, but we undoubtedly have more and we brought it out. We're going 3-0 in the title game that we needed to win to advance on to the next division. Can we get, we need like one more, maybe? There it is. No, dude, Ovechkin, you just swung at nothing. Oh my gosh, dude, like the goal score of like, in the his, best goal score in the history of hockey is what they say. He just misses an open net like that? Oh my gosh, off the pipe, dude. He almost banged it in there. Three seconds, go for one more big check. Boom, to finish the game. That's your division five advancement or division four advancement right there. And that is a huge win. That is the game that we needed. Looking at the coins, racking up the coins. We're gonna be close. Yeah, we're over 30,000 coins, plus the icon selling, plus all the gold players, dude. We're gonna have over 90K for the start of the next episode. That's gonna be huge. Progress right there. That is it. It's only, it sucks. We are one point shy of getting a division five title pack. Unfortunately, we couldn't win the titles for all of them. Game stats, who's ready for this? 30 to four, 14 minutes of time on attack to this guy. I mean, we saw his team, it wasn't the best. Do I think this guy played division five? I don't think so. Let's check out his team real quick. Let's, let's check out like where this guy resides on the online season's leaderboards. See where he resides. So he's division seven. He's lost about 
He's lost two games for every game that he's won. Not the best team I've ever seen, but I mean, yeah, he's got a couple icons in there, some like old, old legend cards, base cards here and there. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad the game ended how it did because, I mean, we should have definitely won this game. I mean, this guy right here, setting in though, phenomenal card. But guys, that is where we're gonna end this episode of the Pop Drop. We are now in Division Four, unlimited rewards. And what I want you guys to do is go unlimited with the likes on this video. Try and hit like 150 likes on this video. Go crazy with it. But guys, join us on Twitch. We will do this again. I hope to see you there. But if you guys could smash that like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Come watch us on Twitch. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.